I'm here on top of one of the busiest department stores in the country to meet a thought leader who has taken the reins of his company, brought it public, and into unprecedented heights. Join me as I meet none other than Frank Gaisano, Chairman and CEO of the Metro Retail Stores Group Incorporated, here on Thought Leaders This Week. Well, one of the things I love about your company, about tracing its roots as a pioneer in Cebu, is also looking at how the family groomed you into the business. Can you talk to us about the influence of your parents into growing your appreciation into the retail side of the business? Well, uh, it's by example. We see that our father's working in the retail uh, that, that inspired us to follow his footstep, which is uh, retail merchandising. And uh, early on, we have uh, the exposure to work in the retail uh, atmosphere. In fact, your parents, Victor and Sally, were very influential in terms of you um, learning the trade from an early age on. Give us examples about how they would inculcate this between you and your siblings as you grew the business. Uh, my first encounter, le let me talk about my dad. Uh, our first encounter is he would uh, let us uh, see uh, the merchandise, not just in the floor, but also how it's uh, how it's being done in the warehouse, how they do things, and uh, from from start to you know uh, displaying them, selling. So the entire process, the yeah. whole process. Now, uh, one of the things also we talked about is like the appreciation of roles in the family. How did you share roles with your siblings as well as you grew along the business? And you also were in school at the ti same time. How did that all come together? Our dad is the one that's really uh, involved in uh, in retail. When we started Metro, uh, give us uh, different areas to work on. Division of work is very uh, clear. And the sh shared responsibilities, but one of the things also that's challenging is to balance learning the business while going to school. You were talking, um, about, we were talking about your education earlier. Civil engineering is not the easiest course, and it's also not the most directly related to retail trade. Tell us about how you were able to balance that learning in a civil engineering course and at the same time applying what you learned in the world of retail trade. Well, uh, at that time I think uh, I uh, was lucky. Uh, I didn't have to study much. I did well in school. So I, I told my, my dad, say, I, I want to work uh, even if I'm uh, you know, uh, studying because I find that uh, I can handle it. So I volunteered to work and uh, and working at the same time uh, going to school is not easy, but I was able to to, to do it. Yeah, and uh, in spite of that, I uh, finished my f five year course in four. So yeah. just imagine that uh, overload, and then also at the same time. Uh, Working. Yeah, it's a fascinating balance and being accelerated also in your graduation. But one of the things I want to ask you also, because we've interviewed a few engineers in this program, is what does an engineering degree and background uh, contribute to a business like retailing? How do your insights and your learnings uh, apply in this case to, to the retail business? Yeah, I think a lot of people, uh, they go to school, uh, they, they started the course, but it's not necessarily what what is needed in, in the their uh, profession, but in, in, this, in this instance, I think uh, some of it we can apply, some not, right? Because, uh, for, for instance, uh, when you go to school in engineering, there's a lot of... Uh, the reason I went to engineering is because I love mathematics. So uh, one of the... Na it's, a, it's a natural progression to go to engineering. But uh, what you can apply from uh, engineering in uh, school is the processes, and uh, you know the, the, the math because uh, a lot of uh, in running a business you have to run the business uh, in numbers based on the numbers yes based on the, the metrics yes. yes and so is there something that you applied in the, the business that had to do with you know setting up structures or re -ch changing the way you operate or processes is that something that you were able to apply in the business and when you finally joined uh, it's more to do with maybe the doing the costings and all that and of course later on understanding that you need uh, people and process to make things happen. Learning while doing I think is the, the best uh, way to, uh, to learn. It benefits the family if you know, we, uh, we have put the, all the governance in place. 
So by professionalizing, uh, the governance is a lot better. So what's good for the company is good for the shareholder and the family. Mm -hmm.